Hello friends! I wonder if you can guess what our story is going to be about today. As we're learning about the farm, our story is going to be about a cow. And the title of the story is actually called Kiss the Cow. And it's also, I think I have about 10 to 15 to 20 to 100 favorite farm books, but this is right there among the top of them. And it's called Kiss the Cow, written by Phyllis Root and illustrated by Will Hillebrand. So let's read and find out. Um, have you ever kissed a cow? I don't know. Let's see what this little girl is going to do with the cow. Let's read and find out. Kiss the cow. On the decoration page, I can see there are a lot of children, an awful lot of them, jumping from a haystack. And they're playing outside with buckets and brooms. Kiss the cow. Mama May lived where the earth met the sky, and her house was as wide as a prairie. It needed to be. Mama May had so many children, she couldn't count them all. Among Mama May's children was one called Annalisa. She wasn't the youngest and she wasn't the oldest, but she was the most curious and the most stubborn. Every day, Annalisa followed Mama May as she carried her two shiny pails to the pasture, where she kept Luella, the magic cow, with the beautiful brown eyes and bright curving horns. Every day, Annalisa heard Mama May sing a song to Luella. Lovely Luella, your milk never fails. My children are hungry, so please fill my pails. And as you can see, Mama May is milking Luella. Even Annalisa saw Luella's warm, sweet milk flow into the shiny pails until Mama May sang, Thank you, Luella, my children shall eat cheese fresh and yellow, milk warm and sweet. And every day, Annalisa saw Mama May kiss Luella right on the end of her velvety brown nose. Ugh, said Annalisa. Imagine that, kissing a cow, yuck. Every day, Mama May carried her pail of milk home to feed her hungry children. One pail of milk they drank for breakfast. The other pail of milk Mama May heated and salted and pressed into cheese. For the children's supper, Cheese was so fresh it squeaked between their teeth. So milk can make cheese. Let's see what else it does. Every day, Annalisa wondered, what would it be like to milk a magic cow? The more she wondered, the more curious she grew. And the more curious she grew, the more Annalisa just had to know. Finally, one day she said, I want to milk Luella. Never you mind about milking Luella, said Mama May. If you upset her, she'll never give milk. Then what would we do? Because remember, Mama May had so many children and they would have milk for breakfast and they would have cheese from the milk for lunch. But Annalisa had made up her mind. She took a pail from the sandbox and she snuck off into the pasture. Hmm, that's a little naughty. Let's see what happens. Is she listening to what Mama May told her to do? Just like Mama May, Annalisa sang, Lovely Luella, your milk never fails. My children are hungry, so please fill my pails. Luella's milk flowed into Annalisa's little pail until she then sang, Thank you, Luella, my children shall eat cheese fresh and yellow, milk warm and sweet. Now, this wasn't exactly true, of course, but magic words are magic words. And true or not, they actually worked. But did Annalisa kiss Luella right on the top of her velvety brown nose? No, she did not. And the next day, Luella would not give any milk at all. No matter how many times Mama May sang her magic song, it didn't make, 
It didn't take Mom and May long to figure out what had happened. Annalisa, she cried, have you been bothering Luella? Uh, all I did was milk her with my little pail, said Annalisa. And did you remember to kiss the cow? Mama May said. Me? Kiss a slobbery, bristly cow? cried Annalisa. Uh, well, you must give the cow a kiss to make sure she can give milk again, said Mama May. Never, said Annalisa. Never, never, ever, ever, ever. And she wouldn't. Remember, what was that trait, character trait about Annalisa we heard earlier? We heard that Annalisa was very stubborn, which means when she made up her mind, nothing was going to change it. That day, the children ate scraps of bread without milk for their breakfast. Now will you kiss the cow? asked Mama May. What do you think she said? Never. No kiss, no milk. That night, the children ate crusts of bread without any cheese for supper. Now will you kiss the cow? asked Mama May. Never, 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 said Annalisa. No kiss, no milk, no cheese. The next day, Mama May's house was full of hungry, crying children. And look at Annalisa sitting there quite satisfied with herself, reading a book, not with a care in the world. And all her brothers and sisters are over there screaming, asking for milk. The hungry children crowded around Annalisa. There were so many children, they crowded her right out of the house, up the hill, to the pasture. Milk, they begged. Cheese, they screamed. Now will you kiss the cow, said Mama May. Never, ever, ever, never, never, never. Moo, said Luella, Pat, putting her nose right in front of Annalisa's face. Yuck, yuck, said Annalisa. But then she looked into Luella's beautiful, big, brown eyes and wondered, hmm, what would it be like to kiss a cow? The more she wondered, the more curious she grew. And the more curious she grew, the more Annalisa just had to know. There was only one way to find out. Do you think she's going to kiss the cow now? She's curious. She wants to know. Hmm, said Annalisa. Hmm. But she scrunched up her eyes, hunched up her face, and kissed Luella. Oh my goodness, Luella smelled of fresh hay and sunshine all over, and her nose was silky and warm and dry. Mama May sang her magic song. Luella's milk began to flow. The children cheered, hooray! And Annalisa felt so fine. She kissed that cow again. And now she's going back home and the children all have their milk. Cows are very, very important. Not only do they give us meat, but cows also are animals that with their milk, and you go to a dairy farm, that milk makes many, many other things. Dairy farm cows make milk that can be made into cheese. It can be made into yogurt. It can be made into something very cold that most of you love and adore. And that would be, starts with an I. I scream, you scream, we all scream for what? Ice cream. So next time you drink a cup of milk or you see a cow, also remember what they give us. And this cow, maybe if I give it a kiss, she might like it too. Let's see. Oh, she did. Well, until next time, friends, we will see you later. Have a great day and um, wait for your next farm story. Bye.